It's me again, the literature coach of Saraway. Today, we want to look at how background information can be garnered when writing an essay based on blossoms of the savannah. Now, to garner background information, it's important to know what a character does and the real trait of a particular character, how he behaves and how other people consider him. For one, today I want us to look at one character, <laughs> very peculiar and very notorious, one David Edward Loisudori Lonkia, a man of all traits. At one time when Rezian has interacted with him, she goes to her sister Taiyo and has this to say about David Edward Loisudori Lonkia. She says, Papai has a monster for a visitor this afternoon, Rezian said, effectively changing the subject. You should see him to believe me when I say he's ugly and mean. He's an absolutely horrible man with a deplorable manners. I can't imagine what business Papai would be transacting with such a person. He's simply Olbitir. Now, Olbitir is a Maasai word for Watok to mean a very ugly man. Tayo exploded into a brother's laughter. And the man's description, while Joseph from what's dark eyebrows shot up almost immediately to his hairline, eyes gleaming with surprised amusement. That happens in Ebe, chapter 7, page 100. Honestly, Razian, what a thing to say about a human being, Tayo said in stitches still. Only a man out of this world would look that horrible. And for some reasons, Papai seems terrified of him. Papai of all the people, terrified. Tayo said, wide-eyed with incredulity, I have never seen him terrified. Did you get to know the name of the monster? Joseph Van Wat asked, perceiving that the girls were overly amazed rather than being over-anxious about their father's discomfiture. He announced importantly that his name was Mr. Edward Dolois Sudori Lonkia. Zian said, mimicking him while roaring with laughter. Did you say Loisudori? Of all the people, Joseph Barmot exclaimed to the consternation of the girls, that man is bad news. He's a monster in the true sense of the word. So we can see initially Razian thinks the man is a monster. But now Joseph Barmot confirms this, confirms their fears. He says that he is a monster in the true sense of the word. Now, the good thing is that he goes on to give us the background about how David is a monster. What has he done? What is he involved in? Why should we consider a monster? Why is the father, Odekailo, afraid of this man? Who is he? The girls asked almost simultaneously. So, the character, they are anxious to know what this man is like. What kind of person is he? Oloi Sudari was a feared man, not only in Nasila, but far and wide. So, monster, ugly, mannerless. Now, we also introduced the fact that he's a feared man. But far and wide, if there was anything obnoxious that Nasila had ever exported to other parts of the country, apart from the ancient infamous cattle raids and services of the Nkamuratani, it was the notorious criminality of Olesudori. Another aspect of this man, notorious criminality. So, he's not just another way pass by monster, not just another criminal just who steals one and go, but he has a notorious criminality. Nobody seems to know his exact business. He liked to refer to himself as a jack of all trades, which was true because he had his fingers on agriculture, finance, tourism, import and export, mining and motor trade. He was also known to be a poacher, a smuggler, a robber, but what he perfected skillfully was being an extortionist. That went hand in hand with his other specialized role of being a hired assassin. He did not play all those roles alone, as his gang of collaborators and agents worked under him directly. Little was known of Aloysio's background. Those older than him said he came to Nasila when he was about a boy of 10 years. Joe said he was adopted by the family of Longkia. 
who brought him up alongside their own sons, who were circumcised with the rest of the sons, and became a valorous Moran. But after his stint as a Moran, he turned into a hard cop criminal, another aspect of life solidarity, who had been jailed on numerous occasions. He was now said to be incorrigible on the fact that he was often successful in his criminal forays, however, devious they were, or put often portrayed a wrong image to the youth who thought he offered an alternative route to wealth and riches. It was as an extortionist that Loisuduri excelled. In most cases, he enticed his victims by loaning them large sums of money or organizing for them to clinch them and sign lucrative contracts with big organizations that win attractive contracts to supply adequate inputs to large parastatals. Once his victims were deeply involved in the business, he would turn up to make ridiculous demands and threaten to withdraw the contracts. In many cases, his victims were left with little option but to play to his own rules. The consequences of not paying the game as he wished were always brutal and unpalatable. By the time Joseph Parmat was through with the monster's history, the girls were near tears. They feared for their father and for themselves. They wondered why their father had got himself involved with the monster in the murky businesses. What the house they were living in was the house they were living in and that business that their father had founded financed by the monster. Rezian was even more fearful when she recalled that the anxiety that was evident in their father's face when he found Oloisuduri in the house. When she recalled the condensation that Oloisuduri had displayed while in the living room, she was in no doubt that their father had fallen victim of the demonic extortionist. Therefore, when looking for background information, it is important to notice or to mention the many character traits of Aloy Sudari. If a student then therefore mentions these character traits, it gives sufficient background information to why Aloy Sudari can affect the lives of these girls and their father. And the background information normally gives strength to the EC. This year the candidates are going to do an EC on Blossoms of the Savannah. It is important that they give background information sufficient to support the evidence of a character trait, for example, or when describing what happens in a particular episode, how this person builds up, why is he feared, why is he a notorious criminal, because of all that is said about him by Joseph Parmont. It is evident then, therefore, that David Edward Omoisuduri Longkia is a dangerous man. When writing an essay, if a student mentions that he is dangerous, it is important to mention all these aspects of his life that make him a dangerous criminal.